Don McGee here, your nutrition evangelist and wellness strategist. Well, if you love to travel as much as I do, you may have seen in my feed that I am headed to Italy on a real foodie trip. Um, cooking classes, olive oil tasting, cheese factory, tons of fun. And you may be thinking to yourself, but Dawn, you seem so healthy. How does this all work? Well, I will show you how the pizza and the pasta all fit into the PFC lifestyle, I promise you. In the meantime, what I would love to know from you is what are your questions? What are your stresses? Um, I'll put together a new mini course series about yes, you can travel and live PFC3. Tell me what you'd like to see in that. Do you worry about um, like an all or nothing approach? Either you're on plan and not having any fun because you're not tasting any of the local cuisines because, you know, who knows, right? Or you're no holds barred, eating and drinking whatever you like, coming back feeling blech. Um, neither one is terribly fun, right? So let's talk about some balance and where you can find your compromises in the middle so that you get to have all the fun you want and you get to feel good when you come home. These are the things that I work on. So does that kind of stuff stress you out? Is it trying new foods and how you might adapt those to like things you like? Are you worried you might not like things? Um, is it about finding food at times when you're hungry? I've got some tips for you there as well. Of course, I'm going to be traveling with my favorite PFC snacks. Um, supplements, water bottle, all the things that will make it easy for me to maintain all the lifestyle fun stuff that I want as well as staying hydrated, staying healthy, feeling good, all the things. Um, so tell me what it is that stresses you out and I will pop videos in here all week next week and you will get to see some of the delicious pizza and pasta that we're going to make as well and some of the beautiful scenery. So tag me in any comments down below so I do not miss them. Um, and in the meantime, if you are staycationing or vacationing, either one, here are a couple of my favorite things that I'm preparing. Number one, I'm bringing snacks with me for the plane, for sure. A refillable water bottle um, so that I can keep it um, hydrated. I bring my electro with my electrolytes so that I've always got a good balance. Um, I make sure that I've got snack baggies filled with my favorite shake powder so that in the morning when I get up, if I'm up before people and I want to make sure that I've got something in my stomach, um, I'll make a shake. I'm bringing a blender bottle with me. Super simple water, shake powder, poof, instant breakfast. Because I may get up and go for a walk. I may get up and do some exercises. Who knows? I may sleep in. Um, but either way, I want to make sure that I've got something so that I'm keeping my blood sugar stable all day long so that I'm not hangry and that I'm not over full. Um, those are my top three tips, right? It doesn't have to be over complicated. You don't have to bring an extra suitcase for all of those things. These fit in my backpack that I take with me on board and I just make sure that I refill water wherever I go. Most of the airports that I've been in lately have water bottle refilling stations. So you don't have to pay for water. You don't have to stress about water. It's all good. So I hope if you are vacationing over the July 4th holiday or staycationing and barbecuing that some of these tips help you. And as always, what I hope for you is that you live a life you love with amazing food, fun exercises, and joy in your life. Until next week, ciao.